Hey, good morning, Maranatha. I wish I was greeting you at the front door of the school, but instead I'm here in my backyard on a beautiful spring morning, uh, enjoying the weather, and um, looking forward to a time when I get to see you again. Um, hey, I've taken a lot of pleasure in some of the things I've gotten to do. My, my daily walks with middle school students and high school students in the afternoons have been probably the greatest pleasure of each day, just getting to connect with people, ask questions, find out how they're doing. Um, I've also gotten to jump into a few classes and cover for some teachers that way. And then I've gotten to see some students uh, in some of our after school activities, whether it's painting with Mrs. Nelson or in Friday Fellowship with Mrs. Stein or in uh, cooking with Dr. Faith. So all those things have been a pleasure to see people. It's not enough. I'd rather be with you in person, but uh, it is what it is. And I look forward to a time when we're back together and I think it's gonna be pretty quickly. Well, hey, through this, I've, I've uh, tried to not take in so much news because uh, so much of it is negative news. Uh, but I do take in a piece every day from World Magazine called The Daily Sift, and then they have another piece called Inside the Outbreak. And I was encouraged the other day by something I read in, in that piece, Inside the Outbreak. And, and let me read it to you. <clears throat> There's a lot of unsettling news right now, which is why it's so important to approach the headlines from a biblical worldview. None of this is taking God by surprise. I hope you'll take heart in one of the many applicable passages of Scripture, such as this one from Habakkuk 3. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food. The flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord, is my strength. Hey, Maranatha, it seems like after the rain the other day, the grass greened up, the trees, uh, boy, they, they burst forth in their green leaves. And now all of a sudden, spring is here. <clears throat> the sun rose this morning. And I think God's still in control of all this. So I'm encouraged that it's not going to be too long before we're looking at this as a piece of our history, that we're through this and not going through it as a trial. And uh, I'm looking forward to that day. Until then, be encouraged. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on my daily walks or in classes or in our afternoon activities. And uh, until then, have a super fantastic day, Maranatha.